What's happening, Andy here. I am joined today by Tim Renegar of Kelly Office Solutions down in North Carolina, Winston-Salem. How are you today, Tim? I'm doing great, Andy. I hope you are. I am great. We have a, uh, a sunny day. It has not been this nice here all week uh, in, in Rochester, New York. How's, how's it down there? Well, we, we, we have had our first uh, cold snap, and we usually get it the third week in October. So we had our first frost and all that, but the days are beautiful, uh, sunny, bright, perfect weather. Um, just a great time to be in this state. You know, the leaves are changing. Yeah. It's beautiful. You saw them last week in Asia. I Asia, did. So I did. The BTA event. It was, it's just a great, great That's time. That's right. We were down at the uh, the BTA event down in Asheville. We, we, uh, we had a, a, the, the fall um, what is it? The, the, the retreat, right? The fall yep. leaves retreat yep. or something like that. And, and, uh, just a spectacular, um, the foliage was awesome. And, and, the, and it was a, a great setting. I really like that they do that down there. Um, yep. we're here to talk about you guys. You, you're, uh, you're now in three offices. You're, you're in, where are you? You're, you're in the headquarters in Winston-Salem. And then you were mentioning before you've got two other offices and tell, tell me, where do you guys cover? You cover most of uh, North Carolina where else? We cover most of central North Carolina. We have an office in Greensboro. We have an office in uh, Charlotte. Uh, we have moved into the Hickory market. So if you don't know much about North Carolina, but we, if you think of the center part, we go all the way down to Rock Hill, South Carolina and up into Southern Virginia um, and east of the state down towards the Raleigh market, not in the Raleigh market yet. And, um, yeah. and we are, you know, it, it, it takes a while to fill out all the, all the stops and, and be in a position to cover uh, companies statewide. But we do that with, with a lot of dear friends that are in the industry. And we're able to continue to service and take care of them because we have good relationships with most of the dealers in the state. And you, you guys are traditional office equipment. Uh, you carry Savin, you carry Konik Minolta, Brother Epson, DocuWare for document management, some Rizzo for uh, some special needs high high speed inkjet. What else do you guys do? What else do you do, you do down there in North Carolina? Well, yeah. you know, clearly that's the core business. Yeah. Um, and it's what I grew up in. However, both of my sons are in the business and neither of them are actually in the core business. Both of them actually started the different divisions of my oldest son, Blake, runs our managed network services group. Yeah. So he has taken that from nothing um, to about 8% of our total revenues now. No uh, kidding. And our, uh, our youngest son is in our pure technology division, which is water, ice, um, pure air. And because of that, you end up in coffee to some degree. <laughs> and that represents another 7% of our business. So um it, it really is and they they basically took it from nothing from scratch to those to this level so we're very very um pleased with those operations and uh, as a matter of fact our our pure technology division had its largest month last month it's ever had so no kidding yeah well you know you think about that and, and it's kind of the it, it's sort of building on exactly what we're we're hearing at you know all these conferences that we're going to the bta and beyond right that you've got to diversify you've got to find other things and really it's just adding products to your portfolio if you've got a, a happy customer base if you're you know if, if you've been serving customers well for years and years and years as you have and we'll get to that that conversation in a second but um you know if you've been serving customers and you're making them happy and you you now you can come to them with another product another service you know, you've got a good shot at doing that. And you've got 7% in one area, coffee and water and whatnot. And then, you know, another 8% in managed services. Um, you know, that came out of nowhere. That, that, that could have been somebody else servicing your customers and providing that. And they were getting it somewhere else. Why not you, right? That's right. And, and the big thing about that is it makes us stickier with existing customers as well. Yeah. So if you already have the core products, which we discussed first, and then you add any of our ancillary uh, products, you know, we try to bundle all that into one payment to the customer. Yep. So when the customer gets water, we have customers that have MS, water, coffee, ice, uh, printers, management network service, I mean, managed print services, copy your fleet with us, the whole gamut. We have DocuWare running in there, and it's all bundled into one payment. And when you get that customer that sticky with you, you know, it's hard for them to throw any piece of you away. Yeah. When, uh, when you've got that. So it has made us uh, kind of a one-stop shop 
for these people and they um, they they really like that. If they got a problem, they can call one place and get a lot of things fixed. And a local place, by the way, yeah. you know, somebody down there, it's, we used to, you know, we used to call it one throat to choke, right? That, that right. they can come down to my office and I'll be sitting at this desk and, uh, you know, I'll be here if you need me and, and you're not going to get a, a, a you know, a, a phone, somebody in another country answering the phones. You're not going to get routed somewhere else to a service department that's, you know, in another region somewhere else before it gets, you know, you're going to say, you know, uh, I want to talk to Mr. Reniger about the problem I'm having and you're going to be there. So that's, that's, that's right. one of the things that, that makes our dealer channel so nice. You know, it's, um, and it's been the strength of us for, for, uh, you know, over 95 years now, um, 95 years, uh, 75 years into that was, uh, the birth of your company, right? That's so correct. we're, we're in the midst of, a, of, of a bit of a celebration, a celebratory year for you. Um, why don't you, take it from here and tell us about the beginnings of, uh, of Kelly office and the 75 years you've gone through, what did you start as and, and who started it all that? Let, let's hear it. This is a big year for you guys. Well, you know, Andy, this, this business has changed dramatically in 75 years and clearly Kelly has proven that it has the ability to adapt to that kind of change. If you look, we started out as a typewriter company. Yep. Well, if we were still a typewriter company, I would imagine we'd be in a much smaller facility. We, um, Weldon Kelly started the company just right after coming home from the war. And um, he would go to New York, load up a few typewriters in his station wagon, come back from New York. And before he would even get back to Winston-Salem, most of the time he would be sold out. So that's how he got started in this business. And at one point in time, he was the largest typewriter place <laughs> a dealer in the uh, North Carolina. I mean, he wow. had school systems. He had the, back then it was called Wachovia Bank. He had really big concerns and he built a, a 12,000 square foot building to hold his typewriter business. So that'll give you a feel for what kind of volume this guy yeah. had and so forth. So, and he was very much a marketer. He loved to put the Kelly was all over everywhere. I mean, we had the Kelly sign. It was backed with fluorescent lights and it looked like uh, he was really into his business and promoting it. And he did a great job. And clearly that business started to change. And with the electronic typewriter, then you go on in and, you know, I, I can go through the whole history of the yeah. world. Here, but, you know, if we didn't continue to evolve and realize there are other ways to make money, we would be out of business and we learned that quickly. And um, so now we are clearly a, a significant RICO dealer for the Southeast. Um, we're uh, a significant brother dealer, uh, Konica Minolta. We do our share of business with them. Of course, everybody's had a little bit of challenge with that particular brand, but uh, and Epson, we think there's a big future in Inc. So um, we're very happy with our product lineups, but we're extremely happy with our diversification. Yeah. Well, you've got great brands and, and, I, and hopefully we're getting to the point where we're, uh, we're starting to put these, some of these, uh, these, these issues behind us with the supply chain. It was a, it was a oh, tough wow. year, tougher for some than others um, that, that, that you mentioned. But uh, you know, hopefully we'll get a little of that behind us and put some, some mileage in front without, oh, yeah. without too much yeah. of a problem. But you know, it, it may still be a rocky road for the next six, 12 months. We'll see what happens. And you guys have all evolved and figured it out. And, and luckily for you, you've got you know, a, a good variety of, of, um, of brands. You're not one of these, uh, you know, companies that may have for years been very faithful and, and said, we're only going to do one brand and, and put all our chips into one basket. And, you know, now, now what happens? You, you, you're, we all learned this past year that being a single line dealer is, is really, really challenging when you've got supply chain issues, right? So, you know, if you have two brands for A3 and you've got a couple options for A4, um, you know, it keeps you on your feet and it keeps your customers, I would imagine, a little, a little happier than if you were just relying on one and you couldn't get anything. Well, there's no question. And we were um, very fortunate that our customer base, you know, they, they will buy what we believe in and what we sell. And um, there we've had long standing Rico customers that we could get KMA for, for example. And so we were able to install that product in that in those particular instances. And the customer was fine with that. And just as long as you're going to be servicing it, right? Yeah. Yes, of course we're going to be servicing it. So, you know, it 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 I have never believed that you, you know, you can 
only have one product line because anything can change. And, and it, it inevitably will. And my father was real big on, you know, you always need a backdoor son. So make sure, yeah. make sure that you have one. So you want to make sure that you have other, other avenues in case something collapses with the one that you have. Yeah. Well, you just, you just never know what could happen. I mean, we saw, you know, um, we've seen brands uh, come and go that, that we thought would be here for the long haul. And then, you know, you wake up one day and there's a, there's a, there's a, some news flash on my website talking about how they're out. You know, HP bought uh, Samsung or right after Samsung was talking about how they were going to be a top three brand within a few years. I mean, it, it happens and it can happen very quickly. And, you know, we all know, I think we're not done with, with the consolidation and there's, there's too many brands around for the number of dealers that are selling them. So, you know, I, I think down the road, we'll, we'll see more of that. And, you know, when you position yourself like you guys, um, it's not going to hurt you as much as it might hurt somebody else. Let's talk about your customers. Who are, you know, who, what, what verticals do you guys focus on? Who are um, maybe the, the target customers, the, the typical customers for, for Kelly office? What, what, what kind of customers do you guys support well, down there? You know, Andy, we have some enterprise accounts, no question. However, that's not our target customer. Some of our accounts became enterprise accounts because we grew up with them. And um, so uh, they, we do have that, and it's, it's a much more difficult type of situation to manage, too. So our, clearly, our target is small to mid-market uh, businesses, regional businesses, which we can handle very easily. Um, and we do a lot of that, regional banks, uh, regional health cares. Um, we have got a lot of nonprofit organizations that, that, uh, that we do business with and manufacturing. Uh, we do a lot of manufacturing still in North Carolina, and we have been very fortunate. That we've been able to capitalize on a lot of that. So, you know, if, if, and, and, and lawyers, I mean, the legal field, um, accounting field, these are, those are the areas that we really excel. And, um, and we have done a really good job of that. So um, we're, we tend to focus where the activity is for our core business, which is where the clicks are going to be. Mm -hmm. And that's where we tend to, to hang out. Um, you know, we had a lot of uh, faith-based business, which, you know, clearly that dropped uh, significantly because they figured out a different way to get the message across to the, to the congregations. But, um, but we were strong enough in other areas that we're back to almost pre-pandemic numbers as far as our service revenues and clicks are going. Um, our hardware numbers are uh, above our pre-pandemic. Very nice. Yeah. Are you looking at, um, you know, the, the remote movement, the uh, work from home movement, whatever you want to call it, it, you know, obviously <laughs> here to stay at least for, for the foreseeable future, right? Are you looking at this as an opportunity? How are you guys adjusting to meet the needs of the customers who may not all be in an office five days a week anymore, the way we used to support them? Well, it has changed the way workflow goes. Um, as a matter of fact, most of our companies that are, are larger, I will say that the when I, the smaller the company, the more they're back to work, the more they've come back. Um, even the mid markets have come back to a great extent. If they're a larger, more regional type office, I would tell you that those folks are still working through who can we call back into coming back to the office and who <laughs> stay away and we've had to help them with that it's helped both in our we're setting up home offices no, no question but we are also doing a lot more from our managed network service side uh, to ensure security for when we do these types of things for them mm -hmm. and that's been invaluable to us so it's created an additional revenue stream right there because it's it's project work on an existing customer so those things have come along that have been beneficial to us. But if you really look at small to mid-market, um, I think that the vast majority of them are in our area. Now, that's very different. It so is. It if is. you go to the Northeast and you go to California, I think you see things very differently. But in the Carolinas, I'll tell you, most people are coming back to the office and they want to work at the office. Now, we get into a Charlotte market. It's a little different because we have massive uh companies there but they're not necessarily our target companies you know we we target the companies that support those massive companies so and those people are back in the office um to a great extent now it has changed how they look sometimes they're wanting a uh, it, we found that a4 is much more popular than it ever was yeah. because it fits the need 
for a little more in, in the office, out of the office type environment. And then they may have a workhorse machine somewhere in, as, as a central print group. But the smaller things are now where other A3s used to be. Yeah. And we have right-sized a bunch of offices because of that. Well, and, and you've got, you know, you've got some very nice brands for that too, right? Especially for the remote work. I know um, just off the top of my head, Brother was one of the ones you had. They have a home home product offering, a home printer offering. Epson obviously has a whole line of that. And you mentioned Workhorse right. in, in a different way of saying it, but, you know, the Workhorse, that's their, I think that's their, their ink, one of their inkjet lines. And then I think yesterday or the day before even, Konica Minolta just announced a, um, a couple of work from home uh, printers, right? So, um, yeah, so that's, and that's the trend, right? There are, everybody's kind of coming out with like, we're, you know, it's, it's not something you want your reps beating up and down the street to sell, you know, but when they can get into an account that says, look, I've got 20 people from home and I need to support them. Well, now you've got 20 printers that are, you know, more appropriate for that kind of market than, than you would have. And then you, with all those choices, you've got a lot of options to offer them. So, you know, better they get it from you and get the right product and the secure product, right. Then just going on Amazon or home, you know, office depot.com and, and, uh, and, and buying something that looks like a good deal, but suddenly you get it back and it's not what you, you know, th what you really needed. That's exactly right. And they, the customers that we do business with clearly understand that they want somebody that they can turn to. They, they, they don't want to go through the Amazon or the whatever, the office depot or wherever they want to go to someone that they can say, Hey, <laughs> you told me this would work and it better, you know, yeah. get it fixed. So they well, need that. It's, it's, it's easy. It's great. It's easy until it shows up. Then yeah. you have to take it right. out of the box. You've got to plug it in. You've got to, what am I supposed to do? I mean, you can get it working, but the difference between getting a printer working and then, you know, maybe setting up the security settings, making sure that everybody's um, authentications are set up and, and that, you know, maybe that they're not logging in using credentials or, or just no security. Right. right. Um, and now you're, you're, you know, all these printers could be vulnerable to security threats if they're not set up. Right. And that's a backdoor to your, you know, to your home infrastructure. And you don't want somebody coming in your network just because they got through a, a printer that somebody got off Amazon that they didn't set up right. Cause they didn't know any better. That's right. That's right. Yeah. No so problem. this is awesome. What are you guys doing to celebrate the big 75 years? One big party, a lot of parties. How, how well, are we doing this? No, we've been doing a lot of parties. So what we've done, we have, we have a lot of events during the year and we've had, as a matter of fact, yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, we had um, a barbecue lunch brought into the branches and you invited the customers to come in and we did a little lunch and learn around that. They would ask some questions about some things. So, and we would have drawings and balloons and a variety of things in the offices. So we've done several smaller events. Uh, we're going to have uh, around our Christmas time, we're going to try to have our Christmas luncheon and invite some other people in and hopefully have a big, a little bit bigger thing. There'll be some drawings and surprises. Around. Yeah, nice celebration. Well, you earned it after 75 years. Yeah. So it's um, it's just, a, it's more of, of several things. We do a lot of sponsorship with Wake Forest football and basketball. So we've been having our uh, tailgate. We're basing around our 75th. And there's, we've got like 60 tickets to the, to the, the football game. And oh, wow. be showing up for that. And give them tickets to the game. They come and have free food, free drinks. And um, it's just a lot of fun. So yeah, we, we just tie several events around this so that it makes it uh, a longer, a lot more planning when you do it that way. Yeah. Our marketing person said, can we just do one big one? Yeah, I but bet. Um, but um, so I, I think that, you know, we're, you don't know how people's schedules are going to work in that. So if you break it up, you can usually hit more people is what we're trying to do. Well, you only get one 75th birthday. So you got to right. do it right. right. That's right. Well, that's exciting news. You know, congratulations to all you guys. I have to ask, who's the uh, who's the longest employee, the longest term employee? Is that you? No, no. I'm I'm probably see. I bought into the company in 2010. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming. As a matter of fact, next month will be my 12th year. All right. Um, however, we have two employees that have been here 37 years. Whoa. But I will tell you, when I got here. We have one sales rep that had been here 51 years. Oh my God, he must have known everybody. He as the delivery guy when he was 17 years old. Oh my goodness. And um, so that was 12 years. Well, he actually stayed about four more years. He had 
after that, and then he retired. But um, so we've had some very long term employees with us. And I've got a lot of folks that have got a lot of people that got 20 plus years experience. Wow. So well, how exciting people. Very cool. Well, enjoy your celebrations. Uh, send pictures of, uh, of the parties and, and you know, we'll, we'd love to post them up here. And, and okay. Thanks, thanks so much for taking the time to come on today and, and uh, tell us about your, uh, the, the start of, of Kelly and uh, you know, where you guys have gone, come from and, and where you're going. Well, Andy, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you taking the time to listen to the story. Oh, I love it. Involving us. And um, we're proud of our history. We're proud of who we are. And we're looking for the next 75 years to be. Just yes. Yes. Hopefully you and I, 75 years from now, we'll be, uh, <laughs> we'll be talking about the big one five zero. So. That'll be something if that works. Yeah, that like might, for you, you, I don't think for you me. got that Rico and Konica Minolta technology. You never know where it's going to take That's us. That's right. So. right. <laughs> you have a great weekend. Good seeing you, Tim. All right. Good talking to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.